Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the Cora Sanchez Show. Ich hoffe, euch geht's gut heute auf Englisch. Weil wir haben den internationalen Gast, meine lieben Freunde. Ähm, ihr wisst noch nicht, wer es ist. Eben jetzt, Achtung, wer ist die Nummer 3 schon? Hey, wir sind beide aufgeregt. Ich sage es euch ehrlich, es ist ein Highlight, meine Freunde. He was born as a Spanish immigrant. He grew up in the suburb of Rennes. He founded the hip-hop group Sans Unique, which soon established internationally, conquered the international film world as an actor and became an advertising icon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Carlos Leal. Welcome to the show, Carlos. You are in. Carlos Hello. Leal, I'm, I'm, hello, everyone. I'm still getting dressed. You look great, man. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hello. Hello. Good to see you. You look Good to great. see you, Cora. I don't know you. I think I'm, mm -hmm. I've never met you before, but um, yes. happy to be here with you. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I know you. I love Sans Unique. Um, uh, you was great. You have a great career. My first question is this, because you look very happy. What's your way of life to living a happy life, especially in these times, in this crazy world? What's your secret to be well, happy? Well, first of all... Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, you you shouldn't um, you shouldn't trust the the actually not something I'm uh, desperately um, trying to get. Happiness for me is not the number one target. Mm -hmm. uh, since uh, 10, 15 years, happiness is the number one target for 95% of the world. Every time you go in a supermarket, you have 20 books to make you happy if you read the book. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't really care about being happy all the time. Um, my favorite artists um, have been through shitty lives. Um, Bukowski, um, I don't know, Serge Gainsbourg, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people that I, um, they've been uh, not happiness. And I don't. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, to manage to deal with the two things. Uh, I don't think it's um, good to try to avoid unhappiness. If you are unhappy, you should deal with it and be happy to be unhappy for a moment. Mm. Because if you allow yourself to be unhappy for a moment, mm. then you will become automatically happy again. That's what I think. That's some deep, deep talk. Wow, this is great. People listen to Carlos. It's very great. Carlos, you are a successful actor. Everybody wants to be a star. Everyone's, everybody wants to be famous, especially in, in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. Um, what's your secret um, uh, uh, of being a successful actor? A good actor don't act. A good actor is this person in this moment. Or what's, what's, the, what's the secret of being a successful actor? Well, listen, I think this, the... Um... The to be a successful baker, writer, uh, entrepreneur is to be passionate. I think mm -hmm. it's important to have passion for what you're doing. Uh, personally, I don't think I'm such a successful actor. I did a lot of things. Um, I've been an artist since I was 18, uh, mm -hmm. starting with breakdance, then rap music, and then acting, and um, I, I always did. I was very lucky because I always could do what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. which is a, a big chance. I've been very lucky in my life, and uh, so passion drives you, gives you the energy, and gives you the the light in your eyes. Uh -huh. Will bring you the the opportunities if you are passionate about something. Usually. Things are happening. You just need to be to have some perseverance and 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 go on and um and work hard and that's it. We need fire and passion. Wow. Yeah. Great. Man. Great, Carlos. <laughs> um, the next uh, question is: uh, Tell us an anecdote um, that you experienced on the set of James Bond Casino Real. Because man, we are the greatest James Bond fans. I, I know everybody say this, but we are big fans. Please tell us a story and tell us Switzerland. Tell Switzerland the story. Um, I have a, I have a, I have a good anecdote. <laughs> Off about myself, I. Important. Uh, we're shooting this scene. It was a long, long scene. Actually, 
where you see this scene in the ca casino, we shot it like in two weeks. It was long, long shooting moment. So basically, I was always on my little chair there, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, doing the referee, uh, the the um, uh, what you call the tournament director. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember one night with uh, some of the actors, we played poker in the hotel. I was very bad. So I lost all my money. And we drank a lot of whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, the day after, we had all day on set. But I was not talking that day. I had no dialogues. The camera was always on Daniel Craig and some people around him. So I was just behind him, right? But I was so tired, so tired. <laughs> so basically, at some point, I was on my chair, like, uh, and it was like this, really falling asleep on set of the James Bond. And <laughs> suddenly, I hear the director, Carlos, you need to sleep at night. He's <laughs> like, oh, holy shit. And then just because I had to have an excuse, I said, yeah, but if I didn't sleep, it's because these guys, they stole my money last night playing <laughs> poker. So that was an anecdote. It was wow. great. That's a great story. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this. Um, I want to I wanna talk with you about the hip-hop culture, mm. the hip-hop movement, because it's, it, it was my thing when I was 18, and it was your, you, you, you said it, start with breakdancing. As we fell in love, and, and, and you with, with hip-hop music, it wasn't this big, mainstream, successful, billion-dollar machine. Mm -hmm. And now it is. Travis Scott does this deal with, with McDonald's, and, and it's a big, big corporate machine, a big money machine. Um, is the spirit of hip-hop dead? Just, just because brands make money out of it? What do you think about our culture, our hip-hop culture today? Listen, first of all, I'm 50 years old, so... <sighs> For me to judge hip hop culture today would be like, oh, the old school guy is trying to judge hip hop. I'm nobody to judge hip hop culture today. I know hip hop culture today still exists. It's there. Now you can definitely make a difference when you get into a movement and we are 30 people in the city listening to the music. Okay. And 30 years later, there's actually 90% of the city listening to the same music. Um, when you are alone or when you feel you are a small group of people mm -hmm. believing in something mm -hmm. extremely strong, mm -hmm. you become strong yourself. Because around you, people don't believe you. People yeah. don't believe that rap music is a good thing or that uh, <laughs> hip-hop culture is an important thing. And I was like, 16 doing breakdance and everybody at me to be honest yes. and my teachers would say what are you doing uh, cleaning the floors and my friends same thing why are you always cleaning the floors <laughs> and then inside of me i knew that this culture was and strong mm -hmm. but as every powerful and strong culture it takes some time but then this culture becomes huge and yeah. popular yeah. so it's not the same you don't have the same feeling by being a disciple yes of a culture mm -hmm. like for example i could imagine that the disciples of jesus they were trying to tell the people this guy is the the son of god you know he's the son of god <laughs> and everybody would say what are you talking about okay <laughs> so there were 11 so i can imagine between them there was a very very strong connection mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but today in 2021 there's no one two or 11 disciples of jesus there's <laughs> half of the fucking planet yes. so it's not the same feeling but hip-hop culture has been my big brother oh. has been my best teacher mm. has brought me to open books tell the people yes yeah and uh, uh so this culture has um has been a lot has been doing a lot for me so oh. i can only be grateful you know uh this goes directly to my heart uh, man uh it's great my question about empathy um we have a crazy world we have a time strange times man we all know know this it's it's 
it's a crazy time. But mm -hmm. I think the key uh, uh, for our humanity, for humanity, uh, is empathy. Uh, yeah. If we, if we uh, have this, we have a chance. What do you think about this? Is it? It's the key. Self love, love to others, empathy. I guess empathy is the key for when you are in a time of crisis. Empathy yeah. is important key because solidarity is important mm -hmm. and since you already are miserable because you are fighting a big enemy if at least you can strength coming from a community from your friends from your family then life is less miserable right mm -hmm. um i don't think the human being is made being i would say the human brain is not necessarily made to only have that layer of empathy unfortunately i guess our brains are so sophisticated that they are bringing us good things but bad things as well the ego Ooh, yeah ego is such a ego is a big enemy of uh, of the human race and um and, and there's nothing we can do about not having ego because our consciousness is bringing ego into our lives, right? So sure. Sure. what I think should be important is to teach the kids at school mm -hmm. to manage their ego. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the point. I say to the Swiss polit politic people, I say, okay, we have to learn about Empathy, self-love, kill your ego, kill your ego, yeah, and, and be thankful for for all these things. We, Switzerland is one of the richest countries, but the people mm. are depressed. They are depressed. They don't know what they have. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, Switzerland has a, a lot of good elements. Uh, now oh, that I've been living true. in different countries, uh, I have to say, every time I come to Switzerland, I'm like, wow, this is fucking beautiful. Uh, but that doesn't make you happy necessarily yes, i mean sure, sure. you know and empathy would make uh swiss people um happier uh because you go to cuba or you go to uh in, in i don't know um, in some countries uh, of africa and uh they don't have all these things but they have empathy and they have a a, a stronger community uh heart and um behavior Yes. which brings more empathy into each human being and that that makes them smile and laugh a lot <laughs> oh, it's great man i love dalai lama so because it's uh, not a religion it's, it's just a way of life just uh, just a way of, of thinking and, and i love this this buddhism thing excellent um, it's really great uh, i i hear in the uh, um technique we have to make a cut we bring a, a little video from the streets we okay. go to the street talk to the people um and we are back in one minute please bleibe dran das one and only carlos leal freunde bis gleich ciao ja also es macht spaß immer noch in der ganzen zeit es ist trotzdem aber am expect das schwer ein deprimierend aber was kann man machen okay danke und bei dir selber ich finde ich finde es hure langweilig We are back with Carlos Leal. I must not forget the one and only Carlos Leal. Nice to have you in the show. Thank you very much for your time, Carlos. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hi. Um, we want to talk about success. We want to talk about you. We want to talk about uh, living a happy life. So my next question is, you, you have this like American dream thing. You, you lived in Switzerland and you lived in Los Angeles and I was there. It's really crazy. I love Hollywood in Los Angeles. Can you tell us like a rock star story that the people say oh this is crazy and i didn't know this about carlos did you have like these experiences this this rock star like experience this hollywood superstar experiences not really you know um, okay. i came to hollywood when i was 40 years old uh with a very um judgmental i was very judgmental about the american way of life okay um hip-hop and rap music has brought me to open books and also to understand a little bit about geopolitics Ooh. so necessarily i had to be judgmental about america right okay <laughs> so if i came to hollywood first of all i i think i should say i came to los angeles mm. hollywood is a concept mm -hmm. hollywood is a fantasy 
right? Mm -hmm. It exists. There is places called Hollywood this and Hollywood that. And there's a little <laughs> neighborhood in Los Angeles called Hollywood, which sucks because it's one of the worst neighborhoods in um, in L.A. Okay. Um, but if I came here, it's because I didn't want to die thinking, oh, shoot, Ooh. I didn't try to go to L.A. or I didn't try to become a more international actor that's the reason why i came here mm -hmm. and uh and there uh, i have to be honest um my american dream mm -hmm. had some sort of a face uh -huh. but then when i came here i was pretty disappointed <laughs> because nobody does great movies like european directors do Ooh. In America, you have this industry that makes you dream and it's mm -hmm. entertainment, right? Hollywood is entertainment, big movies. Of course, awesome. TV now has brought a lot of good material. Television mm -hmm. is in incredible. Mm -hmm. So it is in Europe. I mean, uh, Spanish TV series, French TV series, German TV series, even Swiss TV series sometimes are really good. So okay. Hollywood... Yeah, you have to be careful with that word because the only thing that I can really say is that I'm happy because mm -hmm. I, I did the step, so I followed my dream. Yeah, man. I'm still very judgmental concerning America. I still have a, a distance with this whole thing. Okay. And um, And I'm happy when I can work in Europe as well. Uh, wow. When I go back to Europe, I did a, a German TV series um, a few months ago with uh, Moritz Bleibtreu. Ooh, um, yes. It's called Blackout. It's going to come out uh, this year, I guess. Mm. I think they're supposed to present it at the Berlinale. That one. That and this show is so good. good man. Mm. So the everything was great and uh, and um and i remember at some point tv shows very good movies and he said yeah but i mean in la you I, I, there's all this whole thing i mean there's so much like yeah there is a lot but you know there's a bad things and a few good things that we see all around the world mm -hmm. that's the advantage of uh doing a project here it might become more international uh that's it i talk a lot <laughs> no, I, I speak cool. a lot. <laughs> that's good we have to talk and we have to go deep uh, the next question is very deep uh sometimes i feel like i live in a simulation i don't know what's the matrix uh, it's just in my head or it, it, is it real now I, i sit here uh when i told the people 10 years ago what i'm going to do they say like you ah, you're dreaming you're crazy maybe i'm dreaming maybe this is a dream i don't know um is the matrix real are we living in a simulation like elon musk uh said this Uh, at big podium podium uh, discussions, what do you think about? Is this real or are oh, we well. living in a, in a movie? Is this a movie that we we well, like I, ourselves? I don't know, man. It's funny, yeah. There's a um, an incredible movie uh, called The Truman Show uh, about yeah. this guy. Since he was a baby, he grows up and he thinks he's in a real world, but everything is fake. It's a TV show, so. I guess sometimes when you get bored of life, you need to imagine these kind of things. I think this is uh, the kind of thought that becomes more like a white privileged man kind of fantasy. I think if you are poor and and trying to survive in your life, to get food every day just to survive you and your family. Mm. I don't think you have even these thoughts that if this mm. life is real or not. It's fucking real, man. <laughs> It's a fucking real life. Mm. What we what we don't know, of course, is what comes next. Uh, what comes mm. next, that we don't know nothing about it. And that's mm. why maybe we think this one is not real. But this one, for me, looks very real. 
<laughs> That's a great point, man. But what comes after life uh, <laughs> is Carlos Leal so special because you look great, you have this body, or is Carlos Leal so great because of your spirit? Uh, when our body is dying, our spirit flies away. What do you think? What comes after this existence, this this thing here as Carlos Leal? What comes after? Well, when What I was you young, when I was young, I was a fashion victim. When I was young, I was the victim of um, the appreciation. Well, that's why I became an artist. It's also something that pushed me yeah, because sure. I wanted to be loved by the others. I still want to be loved by the others. This is my job, kind mm -hmm. of. Uh, now, of course, when you get a little bit um, more mature, you start to think that beauty is definitely inside. I'm not mm -hmm. going to be able to handle beauty my whole life in this face. Mm -hmm. So beauty comes from the inside. And I guess um, this is also something we should teach to the kids at school <laughs> yeah. because the ego unfortunately is developing essentially because you want to be loved by the others and uh yeah uh, so now basically to be beautiful inside it's not easy huh no it's not easy but you don't need um fashion or anything that like that i think you need to read a lot Ooh. meditate Meditation, yes, maybe, is a good thing. This is a good thing in California. It's meditation. meditation. We do a lot of meditation, smoke a lot of weed, etc., <laughs> etc. <laughs> That's um, my, my way of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Cali. It's Cali. It's Cali. So what will happen to me after, uh, what I hope that will happen mm -hmm. to me when I die is that mm -hmm. the little light that is here inside will be inside of my son, and inside of my daughter mm. and they already have a beautiful light but i i kind of want to add mine into their bodies so they can um appreciate it wow that's that's great man thank you very uh -huh. much uh, my next question is also uh, very interesting for the people you achieved a lot um and and my question is uh, you have a vision uh, what is What's the thing that you say, okay, when I can do this or when I have this experience, because I know you're not this materialistic guy, I want to have a billion and, and dollars and these things. I think you're mm -hmm. about experiences like me. And what experience do you wait for? Um, or you have it all? I don't know. I Is guess there something? Is there something? Fly to the moon? For me, it's flying to the moon. Important, right. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I guess freedom is important. I, I think mm. if I thank you very much, I, I think I achieved a few things, not that much, but I, I achieved a few things. Uh, I guess freedom or the the search for freedom is um, very helpful. Um, mm. Personally, when I started hip hop culture, it's because I needed some freedom, right? Mm. Uh, I was an immigrant, son of uh, Spanish immigrants. I needed a culture, I needed something strong to drive me, and I needed to go out of the house. My house was very small, my apartment was very small, and my parents were always thinking about work, work, work. And I needed freedom, so I was going out, and hip-hop culture, breakdance, graffitis, blah, blah, was giving me this freedom. And then later, when I did rap music, I think what I wanted to have is the freedom of speech, right? Ooh. I wanted to tell things that were important for me. And the truth is when I became an actor, it's because I wanted to be free of my rapper costume. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's my rapper costume, the truth, it, it's a metaphor, right? But the mm. truth is at some point, people were just looking at me, oh, he's that rapper right he's the mc he's a rebel he's talking about society and politics mm. and i was like wait a minute i'm not only that i no. i'm other things yeah so acting actually helped me to totally get take off my costume mm. of a mc and put a lot of new costumes right <laughs> it's mm. also theater when you're a character suddenly you become another human being so this is also this was a kind of looking for freedom for myself as well you know what yeah. since a year quickly uh since the covid started since the lockdown started here i started doing photography a lot i, I saw it in your instagram it's very good. yeah 
So my photography gave me a new kind of freedom. Suddenly, mm -hmm. I'm not depending on the studio who's telling me, oh, we cannot shoot because someone is sick uh, from COVID, so we're going to have to wait one month. Mm. And I was like, shit, man, I want to do things. And <laughs> I, I went out with my camera and I started doing photography. This was a new way of finding freedom. So freedom has been my thing. Freedom, freedom. We, we wish you for everybody. Everybody has, uh, has a chance for this and, and deserve a chance. Um, my my last point um we we can't we can't think about other people's opinions because we we cannot be happy when we think okay what what is this uh, uh instagram follower thinking about me when i do this and mm. and i think this is a big problem and we have to stop stop uh, this uh how we can do this the young people the young people they don't want to be like kim kardashian they want to be like Kanye west they want to be like this and this and this but they have to be themselves yeah i guess it's what always been yeah, it's always been the same, but social networks are definitely, uh, social platforms are definitely bringing the ego on, on a different level, right? Oh my God, now it's a lot. Uh, because everybody now has his own newspaper. I mean, my Instagram page is my my newspaper. It's, look, it's me and me here, and they're talking about me here as well and here, and everybody mm -hmm. has his own thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think what the kids should do or what people should do concerning Instagram and social networks, they should be inspired. You, you can, if you want, you can go on TikTok and do your thing and for 30 minutes watch shit. Mm -hmm. But if every two, three minutes, you're going to see something, a poem, a great picture, uh, a philosopher talking about something, at least add some seeds of good content in this shitty thing. So you're going to get inspired and um, that can help, I guess. Oh, I, would, wow. I would say um, that's what I'm trying to tell my son. Yeah, cool. This is a big message. Um, thank you for this. Uh, time is flying when we talk. We had yeah. a, a deep talk. I'm real thankful for this. But now we have the last piece of the Corazonche show. I give you two words and you have to decide for one. Okay. okay. Uh, Zurich or Los Angeles? Zurich. Okay. Casino Royale or Goldfinger? Which is the better bomb movie? Casino Royale. Sure. Cablecom or Sunrise? <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, really. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, but <laughs> music or acting? Music. Mm -hmm. uh, digital or print when you read? Digital. Okay. Uh, uh, being spiritual or being rational? Spiritual. Mm. Uh, private jet or the bicycle? I could. Bicycle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um champagne or beer champagne oh yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, family or the big this big kind of world career uh, that's my big dilemma i would say family but i'm lying to myself wow this is deep um you go to the disco or in the silent monastery <laughs> disco <laughs> cool, man. And my last point is always the same, um, world peace. We already uh, 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 spoke about this, but my last point is world peace. Your words about world peace. It's not going to happen. <sighs> it's not going to happen. Never. But <sighs> that's, my, that's my point of view. But yeah, yeah. peace inside of you, uh -huh. it's the first step you can do to bring some peace around you mm. and this is kind of a, also it's like the virus if mm. everybody would have some peace inside of him it's mm. like the virus it it spreads you know so mm. world peace it's okay th thanks for your honesty <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah yeah we have to speak the truth here in this show and uh, uh, you spoke the truth uh time is running we're at the end of this show i'm very sad but carlos 
when I come to USA, I want to meet you, I write you, I call you, and I look that we can drink something, smoke something, or talk, and have a good time. You're funny guy. I, li I like you, Koray. It's good. Thank you very much. I like you too. Um, it, it was so great, and, and it's a message for the people, because they have to be brave. They have to be brave, they have to believe in, herself, uh, in, in herself, and they have to mm. be positive, okay? Spread the love, man. Yeah, man. Cool. Very great. Uh, stay a second by me. Ah, we, okay, say, okay. Uh, we say bye to the people. Much love, Freunde. Okay. Carlos Leon. Much love to the people. <laughs> See you out, soon. Friends. See you soon, bye. my friends.